Zoe is going to join us now, and I know you have a look at that radar. And one of the things that jumped out to me when you were showing it earlier was that it wasn't just like a quick little blip that might have been a mistake or something that was an anomaly. There was like like an actual band of snow that was yes. appearing on the radar. We could see the snow and not just like you said, like a little bit like it. I'm going to show you just a second, but it's crazy because it's been about 20 years since August has seen snowfall in the Sierra. Totally unusual, unprecedented. And I, I mean, I'm sure there are climate change implications of this. We can have a whole conversation about that. Yeah, that would be a five minute conversation. Yeah. We're going to talk about that probably. <laughs> later, but right now let's talk about what's going on in the current forecast because it's a quiet start to our day. Just a little bit of rain out there and it's very cloudy. A lot of moisture making its way across the Bay Area, but have to point out first look at the snow across the highest elevations of the Sierra. We're looking at about 8000 feet up. That's where the chance for snow is. This temperatures are going to be about 36 degrees because this storm system is drawing an air all the way up from Alaska. That's where the cold air is coming from and the reason that we're feeling such a big chill as we step out early this morning or not necessarily chilly early this morning, but into the afternoon. It will remain cool and comfortable for this time of year as you can actually see the swirl of that low pressure system across the Pacific Northwest. And because we're on the southernmost edge of this system, we're not necessarily seeing the most abundant moisture, but the fact that we're seeing anything for this time of year is pretty impressive. San Francisco, the airport picked up 10th of an inch of rainfall early this morning. The roads are still a little bit wet, so that's something to keep your eye on. Take it easy on the roads because these misty conditions might make it a little bit slippery. Temperatures, though, are very mild from inland to the coast. Everybody is sitting in the low 60s because of the cloud coverage. Clouds keep us insulated overnight, act like a blanket and don't allow our overnight temperatures to get very cool. So that's why we're all sitting in the low 60s, but we're not going to get all too much hotter by this afternoon as a good amount of cloud coverage will stick around. Not to say there won't be more sunshine today than yesterday as we are expecting the sun to peak out a couple of times this afternoon, especially further inland, but we are expecting more chances for drizzle as well. So kind of a mixed bag and it's not going to be a cloudy all day scenario, but there is definitely the better potential to see that fog filling in our coastal and valley communities overnight tonight and by tomorrow afternoon. That's when the sunshine will return and that's when the temperatures will begin to climb even more. There are going to be a couple of degrees warmer than today across most of our locations, inland areas, upper 70s to low 80s compared to mid to lower 70s yesterday. San Francisco, we might be near 70 degrees as well as that large storm system will quickly depart after today. So today's kind of the transition period as that storm system will be making its way off to the northeast and an area of high pressure will begin to develop off the west coast. This area of high pressure, also known as a heat dome, will begin to bring excessive heat, especially to our inland locations as we step out over the next 72 hours. So today, no risk for heat related illness. Get out and enjoy yourself and enjoy the comfortable heat while it lasts because by the time that we step out tomorrow, there's already that elevated risk for heat related illness. And then by Monday and into Tuesday, that elevated risk becomes more moderate and even high as we step out next week. So over the next seven days, that is going to be our biggest issue. The heat building Monday and into Tuesday and near triple digit high temperatures for some of our inland locations. There likely is going to be an excessive heat warning in effect. If not Monday, definitely Tuesday, even our Bay Area community is going to be seeing these high temperatures in the mid to lower 80s. And for those of us that don't have air conditioning, that is very hot. Something to keep your eye on into the early parts of the work week, but get out today and even tomorrow while more comfortable and seasonable conditions last. Max, back to you. All right, Zoe, triple digits, snow. This is a wonky forecast, but hey, welcome to August. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, thanks, Zoe.